Good morning, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi, I'm Italian and it's been a while since the last time I've made a video in English on this channel. The reason is I actually had a second channel and I thought that for an English public. So I thought that any of my English subscribers would just simply go there and watch my videos there. Then I realized the public I had on my English channel were actually Italian people that for some reason, and don't ask me why, they just like hearing me speak in English. So I decided it makes no sense having so many channels, having an English channel for an Italian public, when I also have this one channel for an English video for an Italian public, I can't speak anymore. So I've decided to get back making videos in English of course on this main channel. If you don't like it, just don't watch my videos. So as for today's topic, um, I was watching some videos, you know, I follow a lot of different channels and I've realized these days I keep coming out videos about Harry Potter and I had no idea why so I made a research and I found out it's around 20 years since, uh, no not around, it's really 20 years since the first book came out. So that's the reason why everyone is making videos about Harry Potter and I didn't, I never did actually. So I thought why not and today we're going to do the sorting hat thing on Pottermore. I must say I'm not a huge fan, I've read the first I guess three books don't ask me for the titles, I don't even remember them. <laughs> but, uh, well, that actually means I love them because I, I, I never read more than a book when I don't like Sylvia. So that means I really love the books and I didn't watch all of the movies, uh, especially the last ones. I really hate it was when someone started to die. I have no idea why that woman decided to kill all of her characters. It's cruel, why do you have to kill everyone? So I didn't like that part but um, I'm kind of getting distracted so if you want to finish this video before my battery runs out I think we'd better start. So as for this sorting quiz, uh, for all of you who don't know Harry Potter since I know a lot of my subscribers are kind of older in age so they might not uh, know what I'm talking about, there are these four houses and the kids going to the school are sorted into the four houses. In each house are sorted people with similar personality traits and yeah, there are four houses, so I think you're going to understand which kind of different personalities sorted into each house, so long as we go on with this test. So first of all, um, I must say I have preferences. I've always considered myself something in between Gryffindor and a Hufflepuff, so since there are four houses and I like two of them, there's a 50% chance I'll get into a house I like. So... This sounds good and I, I'd start uh, this uh, hoping this is going to work. So now I guess I sh I'm, I'm sh recording in progress. I'm just testing this, this thing because I never tried it so I'm not sure it works. Let's see what it did. Oh, it also records my voice. So, um, well, I think now I'll need to start it over again, but first I'll get into the website, which is Pottermore. Pottermore test. Yeah, this one. Sorting hat. I'm not recording, so you're not going to see this. So, I'll have to log in. Where's, where do you log in on this thing? Rising. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Terms. Oh, why does it not allow me? Sorting, here it is. So, email address, not telling you. Um, I don't remember my email address. <laughs> what was it? Um, okay. I think I get like I think I got it. Um, uh, official, which is not my password. So as you might see, I'm going to start and let's see which house I belong to. Um, I'm going to start my webcam thing and start recording. Start now and discover your patronus. Join your Hogwarts house. 
uh, be sorted and discover your house. So, oh, there's a little story here. Um, I guess it explains back what I just said, so uh, what the houses are for. The famous Howard Sorting Hat gives an account of its own genesis in the series of songs sung at the beginning of each school year. Legend has it that the hat once belonged to one of the four founders, Godric Gryffindor, and that it was jointly enchanted by all four founders to ensure that students would be sorted into their polymoon houses, which would be selected according to each founder's particular pre preferences in students. So each founder is like one kind of student, and all of those students having that kind of personality would go into that specific house. The sorting hat is one of the cleverest enchanted objects most witches and wizards will ever meet. So, well, this is going to be long, so I'm not reading all of it. I like two houses. I really can't decide which one I'm in. Uh, and those two are Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. And I think I share some characteristics from both of them and some that they should have, I don't. So it's kind of something in between. I really never know which one uh, I'm going to. I just hope I'm not on Ravenclaw because I, I hate that house. So I know Harry Potter, when he was being sorted, he, he was like, not Slytherin, not Slytherin. So I'm not, not Ravenclaw, not Ravenclaw. I, I, I know I'm smart and I'm considered clever, but I, that's a house I don't like because they, they kind of take this attitude and think it's the most important thing in the whole world. So I, I do not value him intelligence that high. So this, uh, so I think I might get sorted into that, <laughs> but I really don't want to. So um, if I'm sorting into that, uh, you, you know, I'll pledge the um, these uh, sorting hats to, to send me somewhere else, anywhere else, even Slytherin, just not uh, Ravenclaw. So um, join your Hogwarts house. I've already read the story. Is this thing recording? Yes. So, begin the experience. Why is it not walking? Oh no. Forest or river? Well, I don't like water, so this is kind of easy. Forest, no. River. No! I didn't. Oh. I've mistaken! If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Oh, this one's easy. A, a, a cat. Tabby cat. Siamese cat. Ginger cat. Oh, ginger cat. Absolutely. I like red. I like cats. <laughs> ginger cat. Four boxes are placed before you. Which one would you try and open? Let's see. The small tortoise shell box embellished with gold, inside which some small creatures. No, I don't like creatures. The gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key marked with a mister. I I fear this is one this one Slytherin, but I really like that. So this might be interesting. The ornate golden casket standing on clawed feet with inscription on horns, the book secrets, knowledge, and unbearable temptation. Oh, I like this one. I think it's going to be the best. Well, let's read the last one. The small pewter box, unassuming and plain, which scratched a message on it. I open only for the worthy. Small pewter box, unassuming and plain. Open I don't know, I like both the worthy and the... I'd like the choice, I like to... Uh, as you know, I like both... Uh, I think we're all part of good and evil and we have to choose our side and uh, I'd like to... to Get great despite temptation. This one sounds the most interest, interesting. Which would you rather be? Envied, imitated, trusted, praised, liked, feared. Well, I would like to be feared. I 
I meet, no. Because when people envy you, they get annoying. Imitate it, no. Trust it, yeah. Praised, liked. Praised, liked. Praised, trust it. Trust it. Well, that's useful. Trust it or what we're praised. I like to be praised. Liked. Well, I think if you're liked, you're both praised and trusted. So, liked. Liked. If you could have any power, which one would you choose? The power to read minds. No, I think that's boring. Invisibility. And I also. I already can read mind. The power of invisibility, power of superhuman strength, uh, to speak to animals, speak to animals, change the past. No, I didn't do anything wrong in the past, so I, I don't need to change it. To change your appearance, well, I can do that without magic. Uh, read minds, no. So what was it? Invisibility, no, I don't need it. Superhuman strength. Select. One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has come top of the class in charms, beating you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He drums you to one side after his lesson and asks, you whether or not your classmates use a forbidden kill. What do you do? Lie and say you don't know, but hope that somebody else tells. Well, yeah. Tell Professor Flitwick that you he ought to ask your classmate and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, this sounds absolutely me. I don't need to read the other ones, that's me. <laughs> After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? So, after, I'm, after I died, miss you, but a smile. Why should I have to die? Can I see the others? Ask for more stories about your adventures? Think with admir admiration of your achievements? No, that's sad. I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead, it's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. Well, I think this one's good. <laughs> so let's go back. I think admiration, admiration, ask for more stories about your adventures. Miss you, a smile. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Miss you, a smile. This one's nice. Or, I don't care. I don't think there's life after death, so I think this one, while I'm alive. Left to right. Um, right, I'm a righteous person. <laughs> Select Hufflepuff. So, well, it's nice. It's one, it was one of the two I, 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 like, I kind of liked. So, I, I really thought it was a Gryffindor though. Well, I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Thank you and then next time we'll see another one of these tests. So this is all for today. Uh, well, wait, I need to stop recording. And this was all for today. See you next time for another video. Bye!